Tim, thanks so much. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, as we announced at the top of the broadcast, just announced an arrest in a 1985 rape and murder of a Jacksonville teenager. Detectives say that a DNA match with an inmate currently serving life in Michigan is what cracked this cold case. Haley Harrison is on your side. She was at the press conference and she joins us now with the late breaking details. Haley. Well, Heather, the family of 17 year old Leslie McRae says the last couple of decades have been hard, but they never gave up hope that someone would be arrested for the brutal murder in, on Christmas Eve in 1985. And today was one step towards justice for Leslie. Now, police say around three in the morning on Christmas Eve of 1985, Leslie McRae's boyfriend awoke to a man kneeling by the bed with a knife. The boyfriend told the man tied him up with neckties, then took Leslie and left. Leslie's body was later found alongside Old Middleburg Road near Wilson in 295 with multiple stab wounds to her chest, neck and head. So in 2020, the cold case team went back to the case and ran the DNA through the state CODA system for Michigan, which got a match. Chief of Investigations TK Waters spoke today about the effort. This heinous crime took the life of an innocent young woman, terrorized the family and victimized our community. I want to personally thank Leslie's family and Project Cold Case for their constant, vigilant work towards justice. We are grateful that they never gave up hope. And trust me, they didn't. Now, the suspect is David Nelson Austin, 59 years old, currently serving a life sentence in Michigan for two counts of criminal sexual conduct. Now, I asked if Austin was ever a suspect in this case, and police told me no. Now, JSO says he'll be extradited back to Duval County to face the first degree murder charge. Live at JSO, I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side. Haley, thanks for that.